welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about me getting braces. I wanted to make this video because I felt like if I made another video before I explained that I got braces that there would be a lot of questions in the comments kind of wondering did I get braces, did I not get braces, why did I get braces? So I thought, eh, let me get on here and just make kind of like a casual video explaining what's going on. It might be hard for you guys to notice because I try my best to hide it as much as possible when I'm posting a photo or doing a video, but I do have some like crowding going on, especially my upper teeth, and over the years it's caused this tooth right here to come out. I don't know what the technical term is for these. I'm like, you know, not a dentist. And for its little buddy next to it to go behind it. So it's like, you know, your teeth are supposed to be like this and it's kind of doing that. Meh. Unfortunately, this is not my first time having braces. This is my second time having braces. When I first got my braces, I had to have five teeth, like, pulled out and removed. One was a baby tooth that just, I don't know, just didn't want to let go, okay? And the other four were teeth that you're supposed to have. They weren't, like, the wrong teeth or extra teeth. There were teeth that I was supposed to have, but there was just so much crowding that they literally had to take out two teeth from the top and two teeth from the bottom to make room for all of these other large teeth. If that gives you any idea about like how crowded my mouth was. But I was never one to really hide my smile. I mean, I may have had one of the worst, most crooked situations going on, but I was really not afraid to smile. I know people who are like, yeah, I don't smile with my teeth because I'm embarrassed of this or of that or whatever the case may be. And that breaks my heart because you should just, you should smile out of pure joy and not have to think about it. Like, oh, I'm getting ready to smile. Make sure you don't show your teeth. So side note, if you're doing that, I encourage you to just smile. I am very grateful that my parents bought me braces. I know it was much more expensive back then than it is now. And I have the old school braces, like metal little brackets, which are the things that go on your teeth. You have a metal bracket, you have a wire that sits on the metal bracket, and then you have a rubber band that covers it. And so, um, yeah, they were like metal brackets, metal wire. Now, apparently, they have clear brackets, which might be why some people have told me like it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. It just looks like I have a wire across and in pictures it kind of shows up that way like distant distant pictures not close-up pictures and you know the sad part is I got made fun of even after I got braces and that's one thing that I really learned like throughout my childhood is that people they're gonna find stuff that they don't like about you for whatever reason on the other end if you ever try to fix those things about yourself you're just gonna get made fun of again I remember I was so so excited to show everybody that I had braces because I'm like booyah fixing my teeth what now you got nothing to make fun of me for and their reaction was horrible they were so mean and they said that my teeth were so crooked because the wire is supposed to go straight across your teeth well naturally having my teeth everywhere my wire was had some ebbs and flows okay so they'd make fun of me saying that my teeth were going to break my braces so there's just no winning, really, when you're trying to satisfy bullies or like people that are already against you for whatever reason. Um, there's just really no winning. There's nothing you can do or say or change about yourself that's really going to satisfy them. They're, and it just goes to show like they're angry at you or you know lashing out at you for a different reason. Because if they were genuinely offended by my teeth, if my if my teeth were really the cause of their anger, that they had to vocalize it, then me fixing them would make them really happy. They'd be, oh my gosh, you're finally fixing your teeth. Thank you. That was bugging me so bad. Well, obviously that wasn't the case. There's something else going on because now you're bothered that I'm fixing them. And even when I got my braces off, they found other things to make fun of me about. So it's just... Like I said, there's no winning and that's totally fine. Don't even bother getting in that game and then you won't have to feel like you're trying to win an impossible game. So that's kind of like the underlying message of my braces story, but back to the chronological story. <laughs> My teeth came out great in my opinion. They were super straight. I unfortunately am a tongue thruster, which means that 
my tongue touches my teeth a lot. It's always hitting the back of my front teeth when I'm talking. And I've tried changing it. I've tried trying to adjust the way that I talk. It's something that's so hard to do. I really feel like that's just how big my tongue is. Like it goes right there. I can't really communicate the way that I want to and with the enthusiasm that I want to when I'm trying to keep my tongue inside. It was probably more important that I wore my retainer more often. Back in the day, the dentist recommended to wear your retainer for one year, which is the worst because you finally have your braces off and you have to cover them with a stinking retainer for like a whole year, morning and night. And then after that, you just have to wear it at night for a couple years. And then supposedly following that, your teeth should be fine. Why well, I wore it for as long as I possibly could. Unfortunately, I lose things a lot. In school, I would like put my retainer in my lunch tray while I ate and then accidentally throw away my tray. And they were expensive to keep replacing. I know I was upsetting my parents. One time I left it in my pocket and my pants went in the dryer and it like cracked in half. I even tried crazy gluing it together. Um, and then once I got married and I was out of the house, I broke it again and I was not newly married Ivana, Miss Independent, was not going to call mommy and daddy and tell her that she needed a new retainer. So I just was like, eh, I've been wearing it for like five years. This should be fine. Well, it wasn't, and it's mostly because, like I said, genetically, I just am a tongue thruster. I have a large tongue, I guess, and just with everything going on in my mouth, I needed a retainer longer. So over the past two or three years, I've noticed like a lot of pressure on this side of my teeth, and it really sucked at first, and my mom was like really upset with me <laughs> because she spent a lot of money on braces. I went in for a consultation, I was hoping to qualify for Invisalign, but they said that because of like that tooth going back, it would have been very hard to kind of like redirect it with just Invisalign. I just went with what was best for my teeth and what's best for my teeth is this. I can finish it anywhere between like 6 and 10 months and the longer I keep them on, the straighter my smile will be. I may get to 6 months and want to go to 10. I may get to 10 months and want to go to 12. So if I have to take the time to do my teeth over for a year, then I want to take that time and I want to do it right. And I really am not embarrassed that I have adult braces. I Apparently there's like some negative connotation with it. Um, I don't think that it's bad. I think this is fine. And maybe it's not like the sexiest thing ever, but I do in its own way think that it's kind of adorable when a girl has braces and especially when they're worn with confidence. I've always kind of been like kind of a nerd. I had glasses, braces, acne, the whole nine yards all at the same time. And like I was coming out of that phase when Michael met me, so he thinks it's super adorable that I have braces on right now. Braces don't have to be a bad thing. I think, I will say this though, it's surprisingly a little bit more challenging to put on lipstick. And I don't know why. I can't really do a full <laughs> kissy face yet. I think it'll like take time to get used to it and teach my lips how to go around these braces. I'm super excited to have straight teeth again and I hereby swear to be super responsible with my retainer. I don't know if this video was helpful or entertaining at all, but like I said, I just wanted to make it to kind of update you guys that I have braces now and I think they're awesome. I'm super proud of them. So if you ever catch me in future videos lisping on some words or if you think my like mouth mannerisms are acting kind of off, then you know why. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it so much. Um, I have a couple more videos that I want to try to get out pretty soon. I have a new lip scrub recipe. I know I did the gingerbread one in December, but I have a new one that's a little bit more like summery. It's like a lemonade inspired lip scrub and it's amazing. I love it so much and I hope you do too. And I'm also due for a new morning routine video. So keep your eyes open for those two videos. If you, that was four. Keep your eyes open for those two videos. If you guys have any questions, as always, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Um, you can hit me up on like Instagram or Snapchat. My Instagram was recently like hacked or something. All, all 
of the people that I follow were deleted. So I've been having to like go back and add people. So if I used to follow you and now I don't, I'm sorry. It deleted like my friends, my family, everybody. So sorry about that. I mean it every time I say it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.